Well, here was the old bandit here once again, and this video will be about whether or not Chrome OS is for you. And at the same time, I'm also gonna do a review of a typical Chromebook. So basically, show you what you can expect from a computer which was built for Chrome OS. Now, just like Android, Chrome OS is a Linux-based operating system, and unlike Android, Chrome OS is designed to be a cloud operative system where you store most of your stuff, settings and whatnot on Google Drive. Hence why the Chromebooks usually don't have a lot of storage. The Chromebooks either come with ARM processors or Intel processors and the Chromebook I'm gonna review in this video does have a ARM processor. Alright, so this is how the box looks like. We're gonna do a unboxing. These are the specs. As you can see the label is cut because I already had a look inside. As you can see it's really nice, really straightforward. Nothing fancy like on the more expensive laptops. Alright, so this is a closer look at the Lenovo S330. It's got a nice finish to it. And you got the chrome badge, just like on all the Chromebooks. And this is how it looks like underneath it. And it's got two speakers, one over here and one over here. And if you've noticed, it doesn't have a round hole for the fan, because it doesn't have a fan. Which makes it extremely quiet. This laptop is extremely slim and lightweight. And that's something you'd expect from a modern laptop. On the right side it's got a combo audio slash microphone jack. On the left side it's got a USB Type-C 3.1. Which is also used for charging the laptop. So it doesn't have a separate input for charging it. It's got an HDMI output. One USB 3.0 as well as an SD card reader. And that's pretty much it. Now you might wonder, where on earth is the Ethernet connection? Well, it doesn't have one. And it's not just this example, but all Chromebooks usually won't come with the Ethernet connection. Now, let's lift the lid. There you go. Once you lift the lid, the thing is gonna start directly. It's got a nice keyboard as you can no doubt see. And if you haven't noticed already, now just like the MacBooks, which are specifically designed for Mac OS, the Chromebooks are also specifically designed for Chrome OS. So they look quite a bit different than your average Windows laptops. Now the keyboard looks pretty much how you'd expect it to look. Apart from some minor things, it's got a search key and the typical numbers and symbols on top and it's also got some shortcuts just like you'd expect mute volume up or down power button dimmer buttons for the display full screen and so on and so forth it doesn't have a delete button which is a bit weird and also the trackpad you might expect it to have a left and right click well it doesn't the trackpads on the chromebooks are specifically designed for Chrome OS, they work a bit differently. Now I'm gonna talk more about the trackpad on the Chromebooks later on. The Chromebooks obviously don't come with a optical drive, but neither do many Windows laptops either. It's got a web camera on 720p. It's also got a 14 inches 16 by 9 display on 1920 times 1080p full HD. The GPU is a PowerVR GX6250. And the CPU is a MediaTek MT-A173C, 64-bit and 1.4 GHz. Next turbo speed is 2 GHz and it's also a quad-core processor. 4 GB LPDDR3 SD RAM memory and 2133 MHz. And it's also got a 64 GB SSD eMMC type hard drive. So spec-wise it's not so bad. And the price for one of these is, in euros, around 
320 to 330 but you can often find it quite a bit cheaper I've seen these things also go for 270 to 80 euros as of now for that price you actually get a decent performing laptop for your day-to-day -day basic usage first thing you'll see when you start the Chrome OS is the login screen however if you start off for the first time you're gonna have to go through a quick setup as well as add your Google account otherwise you can't fully take advantage of the Chrome OS you can on the other hand browse as guest well there you go you got some limited functions and of course once you're done browsing as guest nothing will be saved everything will start from zero unless you sign into your account And the first thing it does is basically open up the Chrome browser and by default settings it actually takes you back where you last left and you can obviously connect your Android smartphone to this device and it will pretty much take you back where you actually left on your smartphone in case you were surfing so let's close the browser and this is how the desktop itself looks like you have a panel down here in Linux it's actually called a panel in Windows as many of you know it's called a taskbar however in Chrome it's actually called a shelf in the middle you got your pinned apps you can obviously pin and unpin them this button on the left side is called the app launcher this is pretty much like a start menu these are actually the shortcuts of the apps you're using the most to see all the apps you basically click this upper arrow button and as you can no doubt see if you're familiar with Android it looks very similar what's also funny is that pretty much all Android apps I've tried actually work you got your Play Store, Chrome Files Manager, Gmail, a lot of these are actually shortcuts, basically new tabs. If you select YouTube for instance, it's not actually the YouTube app, but rather a shortcut, which I'm gonna demonstrate you right now. There you go, takes you directly to YouTube. Right, let's get out. I even installed a game, which I sometimes used to play on the phone a few years ago. Now I'm gonna open it up just to show you guys that it actually works basically all the apps and games that are available for Android which you find on the Google Play will work perfectly fine on a Chromebook this game is called Hill Climb Racing it's been out for a good few years now I'm just gonna demonstrate a normal you would tap this on your phone but since this computer doesn't have a touch screen you're actually using the arrows there you go accelerate brake see it works perfectly fine right now I'm gonna exit by pressing ask alright do it once more and there you go right by this time you've probably noticed that you can do a whole lot of things from the app launcher other and mainly launching apps and then you wonder how can you get into the settings or turn your computer off well that's very simple there's an additional menu on the right corner which is very similar to the Android's curtain and from there you can control all that you got your settings lock power sign out and on top of it you got your notifications it actually notifies me about some apps which are available to update exactly like in Android some more settings, night mode Bluetooth, Wi-Fi for additional settings you click this gear just like you would on Android and you got some of the settings sync, screen lock manage other people passwords, wallpaper and just like in 
the newer Android versions you can also search for settings for instance browse themes which you can do on the internet you can't really customize it the way you customize Linux so you're gonna have to download some themes if you wanna customize it and that's pretty much what you get there's quite a few of them available though right over here you got even more sayings network bluetooth connected devices advanced you now date and time privacy downloads printing things of that nature now the trackpad on a chromebook is actually different from your average trackpad especially if you're used to the trackpads on the windows laptops there aren't two buttons down here it's only got one button which you either tap or press in order to right click you have to tap the trackpads with two fingers at the same time just like so you can also set the position of the shelf bottom left to right as you can see back on the bottom let's open up the files and over here you got the google drive google actually expects you to store your stuff on their drive that's one reason why Chromebooks don't have a lot of storage space. However, I did notice that these days they're actually expanding the storage in the Chromebooks, which is a good thing. You can obviously use a external hard drive. You got downloads, play files, Google Drive, and the files stored on the computer are actually called offline files. If you want to create a folder, you double tap the trackpad and select new folder name it in order to move a folder you simply press and hold the trackpad with one finger while moving it with another one as you can see it moves around without a single issue you can also use your other hand as well let's go back to sayings additional sayings and you'll notice something that says Linux which is actually a bell now since chrome os is a linux based operating system just like android you can actually enable linux on your device and if you do enable linux there's some things you have to know some programs will work fine with the uh, intel architecture while others won't work as good with the arm architecture so you can basically turn on linux although you won't access the linux itself within chrome os but rather another linux within linux if that makes any sense to you it's pretty much like a virtual box and that enables you to install linux programs on your laptop for instance libreoffice blender and many more and once you install the linux programs you will then be able to open them up from the launcher just like you would open a regular chrome os or android app you can install Firefox on it and you don't have to enable Linux and do it through Linux for that because you can actually find it on the Play Store which I'm gonna demonstrate to you right now let's see Fire... you can just search for Firefox I know it's right there but I'll search it anyway and there you go let's see where it is yeah there you go let's open firefox and it actually works quite nicely anyway let's take a look at the notifications and open up the updates as you can no doubt see it's exactly like in android so you can basically select update all and over here you'll get the notifications exactly like in android and of course this gmail youtube and all those things are basically shortcuts you can actually unpin them all right let's double tap firefox and you have the option to pin it to shelf and uninstall it so you don't need to go into settings and whatnot you can just double tap a app and simply uninstall it eight apps updated so it's quite fast and unlike windows Chrome OS being a Linux based operating system it's 
quite fast and it doesn't need a lot of resources. The hardware requirements are lower, which is a great thing. Now, the keyboard is almost the same as on a Windows laptop, although it's still a bit different. But other than that, you got some special shortcuts. You got the brightness, mute, volume down and up, power on and off button, recent items, and this search shortcut. Now, there are some special keyboards and mice you can purchase which are specially made for Chrome OS and what I like is the actual silence of this particular laptop I don't know if all Chromebooks are the same at least the ones with the ARM processors don't seem to have a fan so additionally cool down the CPU and down here you got the clock as expected battery percentage Wi-Fi as well as the keyboard input language simply open up the curtain as you would call it in the Android phones and simply shut down and as you can see it's already turned off very quickly so far the conclusion about Chromebooks in general even the basic model seems to be fast and being a Linux based operating system it won't slow down over time, just like Microsoft. It performs quite fast and whatnot. Now as far as the hardware goes, you get a bit less for your money when it comes to connections, but that has to do with the target buyers of a Chromebook or a computer with Chrome OS on it. They fit perfectly for students and of course for people who pretty much want nothing but a basic computer. So for basic stuff, it may be something for you. Now whether or not you should buy a Chromebook, I don't know. I would personally not buy one because I'm a Linux guy and if I were to buy a laptop now, I would definitely buy a Windows laptop and wipe down the windows and whatnot. And there's also a big disadvantage with Chromebooks or computers with Chrome OS on them in general. Now Google will support your Chromebook with updates for only five years. And that's not much at all. Talk about plan obsolescence. Even Microsoft has a extended support of 10 years. So if you want to buy a Windows computer, you know, you're pretty much guaranteed to have it 10 years. Now, of course, on Windows computers, it's a bit easier since you'll probably install a newer version that will come 10 years later or install Linux. That five year support isn't much. And what you're gonna do after five years? Well, you got no other option than pretty much installing a Linux operating system on it, so if you want a Linux computer, why not buy a Windows computer in the first place? Or, in some countries, you may find brand new laptops with Linux Ubuntu pre-installed on them. That would be a great deal if you could find one of those. Or, there are some companies selling hardware for offices, and I saw computers and laptops without any operating system on them. And as I said earlier, you can actually enable Linux on it, so you can run the terminal and, you know, install Linux programs on it. Although some may work better with Intel architecture rather than the ARM one, so you better do your research. If you basically want to use Linux, why buy a Chromebook in the first place? Chromebooks were mainly designed for people who mainly browse the internet and do basic stuff. So if you're one of those people and you like the Chrome OS, then why not go ahead and buy one? As far as this example in this video, it seems to be decent for money, especially for the price it was purchased. This was pretty much an introduction to Chrome OS and Chromebooks in general, as well as a review of this particular Lenovo laptop. But before buying one of these, I would advise you to do even more research see whether or not Chrome OS is for you. So anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say. Now I'm gonna end this video, hope you liked it. If you did, why not thumbs up? Check out my other videos, and if you like what I'm doing, I'll subscribe, and I'll definitely see you next time. Cheers.